Hey everyone, this is Darkin, and I haven't done a video in a long time, but I was talking to my students last night, and I had mentioned about painting muzzle flashes, so I thought it might be a good opportunity to show a couple different ways of how I go about doing it. Um, this is an old painting I did, but I'm actually going to repaint the muzzle flare, so I just painted over it really quickly. So, um, you know, of course, in Photoshop, there are a ton of different ways to do the same thing. Uh, usually, I would just paint it by hand. So I would, you know, pick a uh, like an orange, and you know, I would start out with that. And this is just, you know, painting opaquely. I'm not doing anything fancy right now. And as you get brighter, you're gonna desaturate your color slightly. And I'm also shifting it to a little more of a yellow color. So just get as you get closer and closer to the middle here. You know, it's just going to go uh, brighter and more desaturated until finally you get to maybe like a pure white in the middle. Now, of course, it depends on if you're going for, you know, a more painterly type of muzzle flare or one that's more realistic. But, um, you know, at this point, you know, it, it doesn't really have that much of an impact. So a lot of times I will go and I'll add a linear dodge add layer. And then I'll select sort of a desaturated orange and I'll switch to the airbrush. And then this will add some glow to the muzzle flare. So now it has, you know, a little bit more of that glow. Uh, that might be a little bit too desaturated. So I'm going to pick a more saturated color. And then if you want, you can go even more in the middle. Yeah, so now it just has more of that glow to it. You don't see quite as many of the little brush strokes in the middle there. I go and do another one for the bottom part. I'm just going to turn off that glow for now. Going from that red orange to another orange to a more desaturated yellow. And I'll just go to white. This one's a little bit different than the other one, but uh, good enough for the purpose of this demo, I think. And go back to the linear dodge add layer and paint that in there. And now you have a muzzle flare. All right, so that's one way of doing it just by painting by hand. But as you can see, that took, I mean, it didn't take that long, but it, it took some time. So another way to do it is by using, um, you know, actual real muzzle flares. And it's sort of similar to photo bashing, but it's a little bit different. This time I'm using actual little movie clips. And I actually bought this from Video Copilot. They sell a library of different effects. So if you look down here, you can see I have atmospheres, blood, charges, um, you know, debris, dirt charges, explosions, fire, muzzle flares, smoke. I mean, there's a whole bunch of different things. And these are little movie clips that, um, you know, the background is masked out so that you can actually put it in your image and not worry about having to mask anything out. And um, I originally bought this when I was using After Effects, so I wanted to do some live action stuff and you know you can do some special effects with that so that's why I bought these but I also got them because you can use them in your illustrations so down here you can see the different little muzzle flare um, uh, thumbnails and so maybe we'll go with this one here this might be a good one these are actually on my external hard drive so hopefully it won't take too long to open these but yeah, using, um, you know, something like this, you know, it just speeds up the process a lot. You know, I could sit there and paint them by hand, but it just takes longer. So this actually helps me out, uh, especially if I'm working on a bunch of different paintings at the same time. Okay, so now you can see that I have it open in this other little file, and this timeline popped up because this is an actual little, um, you know, movie. Uh, so if you hit play, you can see that it plays. It's obviously just basically one frame. Um, you know, because the muzzle flash looks extremely fast. So you can just drag this 
to you know whichever frame you want to use and since it's only one frame it's just at the beginning and then you can just um, copy this go back to your painting and paste it and this is pretty small so I can make it a lot bigger rotate it the other way so let me turn off these other muzzle flashes all right so you know obviously it's kind of in the wrong perspective because it was you know a straight on profile in the original file and then also it still has kind of that you know not much of a, a glow to it so if you change the layer mode to maybe screen or linear dodge add you know whichever one looks better but then I can also go and add uh, more effects on top of it so I'm actually using that linear dodge add again and rotating it and since this is kind of off the screen um, you can't really tell that it's in the wrong perspective especially since you know this uh, bottom part is kind of rounded anyway but if you do want to change it you can always just do like a warp or something and usually that's good enough to get it to look kind of bright actually maybe I'll do a distort as well that up a little okay so now we have that and if you want to add even more glow just go back on top with another linear dodge add layer and using the airbrush and just to add some of that glow there so now we have another type of muzzle flash that took you know maybe less than a minute to do which can save some time so, um, and you know it has a little bit more of a realistic look to it obviously since it's an actual real muzzle flash um, you know you can also maybe blur it a little bit if you think that it's too hard-edged that's a little too much you might want to just do a, a subtle blur to it flipping back and forth you know it's pretty subtle but that might work so um, you know I don't want to repeat that same exact one so I'll go and look for a different one and a lot of these are in different angles some of them are different types of guns like this one has a suppressor on it uh, there's one yeah there's automatic fire ones too I will open one of these So these ones are longer. You know, you can play it and you can see how it goes. Uh, the effect on this one is pretty small. I kind of want a bigger flash. Maybe one of these other ones might work a little bit better. You know, that one has kind of a weird shape to it. So I can just scrub through the timeline and try and find one that I like. I mean, this one looks pretty cool or this one I'll do this one so I'll just copy this paste it into here rotate it around resize it change that to linear dodge add and just do a distort Go back to the linear dodge add layer above it to add a little bit more of that glow. Then I can just redo the same blur. Yeah, and now you have two muzzle flashes. And you can flip this on and off to make it animated. <laughs> but yeah, so you know, two different ways to do it. Um, you know, some people may not know about being able to use. Uh, little movie files in their paintings so I mean, it's a good little trick to use especially if you need to save some time but um, this bridge the mini bridge they don't have it in 2014 so this is um, CC so uh, if you have 2014 and you're trying to figure out how to get this you can't they actually took it out for some reason um, but if you're on the cloud uh, creative cloud you can actually go and re-download the older versions 
So if you want the mini bridge, you can go to uh, Creative Cloud and re-download CC so that you can get that. But yeah, so there you go. Two different ways to do muzzle flashes. So hopefully you didn't know about this. You may want to go check out Video Copilot. You know, they sell all these different things. So it'd be a good little addition to your toolkit. All right, so I'll see you later.